So this movie is to document the azimuthal alignment of the two end rings. What you see here is a blow up at one side showing that the hole for the high voltage is well centered in the crosshairs. The minor tick marks on this axis are two thousandths of an inch each. And now I'm going to tell the microscope to move to the far end. And the correct alignment will be to have the center of those same three small holes um, also at the crosshair point. This will also, in fact, uh, verify the length in Z um, because the target location should be looking at the outside edge of that end ring the same way the previous image on the microscope was looking at the outside edge of the first end ring. The price one pays for a precision control of the lead screw is that the speed is not so high. The uh, motor is internally geared down by a factor of 40, and so this is in fact considered a high-speed motion of the motor, and it will take just a moment to get to the far end, at which point we'll look once again at the microscope image on the screen. That's Steve. And that's Nib. Hello. They're currently preparing to glue the honeycomb in place um, now that both end rings have been uh, fixed onto the carbon fiber. And it's going to be just a moment more for the microscope to come in. If we look back here, that image is actually the weave in the carbon fiber inner layer. to the very end of the end ring and what you can see is that in the Z dimension it's very well aligned and the hole is also very well aligned in the azimuth. So this demonstrates that both end rings which are now permanently glued to the carbon fiber are in their proper locations.